about weathering and its types. We all know about Grand Canyon. Do you know how it formed? It all because of weathering. Let's get into the video. First we see what is weathering. Breaking down even the most solid of rocks and minerals into smaller bits is weathering or simply we can say crucial process in the rock cycle that helps shape earth's surface and create soil. Next one, types of weathering. There are three types of weathering namely physical chemical and biological and these three are further classified into this meaning we'll see in this detail first physical weathering breakdown of rocks and minerals into smaller pieces without changing their chemical composition let's see the factor that cause physical weathering are water ice pressure temperature wind first type Frost wedging. Water enters into the crack in rocks, freeze and then expands, causing the rocks to break apart. Look at the simple explanation. You can see the crack and water enter into the crack, then it freeze and become expand. And frost wedge is commonly seen in the mountainous region where temperature fluctuates around the freezing point. And here the aroma point of the wedging pattern. Known as exfoliation, the layers of rock peel off due to the reduction in pressure as overlying materials or removed, like an onion peel. Look at the mountain, we can see the exfoliation. Next one is thermal expansion. Repeated heating and cooling cause the rocks to expand and contract, leading to cracking. Mainly this kind of thermal expansion happens in deserts where temperature radiations between day and night are extreme. Just look at the rock in the desert. Next, abrasion. Rocks are worn down by friction and impact with other rock particles carried by wind, water or ice. We usually see smooth pebbles and cobbles where these kind of rocks are visible in river beds because of the constant flow of water. Before going further, please do like and subscribe. Weathering. So, breakdown of rocks through chemical reaction altering their mineral composition. The factors that cause the chemical weathering are yeah, that means oxygen and carbon dioxide, water, acid. The first one is oxidation. Mineral. Consider the colorful dot as the minerals in the rocks. So, the mineral reacts with oxygen to form the oxide, resting in iron rich rocks. This reddish color due to the iron reacts with oxygen or water to form the iron hydroxide or rust. Next one is hydrolysis. Hydro means water, which means water reacts with minerals to form new minerals on soluble salts. As I mentioned before, the color dots are minerals. Now you can see the gray patch. So that are soluble salts. So next one is carbonation. Carbon dioxide in water forms carbonic acid which reacts with minerals like calcium, carbonate and limestone. So consider that white stone is a limestone. From this coordination, we can see the cross landscape. Characteristics by the features such as sinkholes and caves are mainly formed because of the coordination. So next one is solution, minerals dissolved in water, particularly that are soluble in halide, the rock salt. The formation of caves in limestone regions where the rocks is dissolved by acidic water. Here you can see the white formation. Last type biological weathering. Breakdown of rocks by living organism. The factors which cause the biological weathering are trees, plants, microorganisms and animals. First one, root expansion. Plants roots grow into the cracks and rocks, exerting pressure and causing the rocks to break. Here you can see the image. The tree just grew in between the rock. And here is the live example. The tree just grow in, in between the rock formation. And you can see the weathering also. Next one is lichen growth. Lichen is nothing but the green patches around the rock that produce the assets that chemically weather the rock surface and animal activity. Basically, boring animal like rabbits, rats, moles, groundhogs. 
just disturb the rock and soil and leading to increase the exposure to the weathering process. And here earthworm mixing soil and breaking down the small rocks as they burrow. Now it's a quiz time. Do you have any idea? Please pause the video and answer. Stone Forest, China. It's a grass topography formed by chemical weathering. Next one is James Causeway, Northern Ireland. It's a chemical weathering. Almost 40,000 interlocking basalt columns are there. The last one is Bryce Canyon. It is also a chemical weathering that to oxidation of iron rich metals. If you have any thoughts, do comment. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. Please share, like, and subscribe. Bye bye.